Pre-processing a resting state data set is similar to how you pre-process a task-related data set. You do the same steps of realignment, segmentation, normalization, and so on. The main difference is in the motion threshold. Resting state data sets are notoriously susceptible to motion-related artifacts. Even small movements can introduce spurious correlations. These artifacts are particularly problematic for laboratories studying disorders such as schizophrenia, or for researchers who scan very old or very young people. Too much movement will ruin your study. There's no simple way to address this problem, aside from training the subjects to move as little as possible. That said, the Con Toolbox has several methods for mitigating movement artifacts, including art and principal component filtering of signal from the white matter and cerebral spinal fluid, a method known as COMCORE. In the following chapters, we will examine how including or omitting these steps will affect our results. Our first step is to pre-process the data to improve the quality of the images and reduce noise. To perform all of the conventional pre-processing steps, as well as removal of movement artifacts, click on the pre-processing button at the bottom left of the screen. This will open a menu showing virtually every pre-processing step available. Bold font indicates a pipeline or series of pre-processing steps that have already been arranged in a particular order. The first option that is highlighted, default pre-processing pipeline, will do a traditional analysis that normalizes volumetric data to MNI space. Clicking OK will add all of the pre-processing steps into the window at the top of the screen. Highlighting a step will display a short description of what that step does, along with the input and output. Some steps, such as functional direct segmentation and normalization, allow you to specify additional options, such as whether you want to use the first functional volume as reference. These options probably won't affect your results much, if at all, but they are there at your disposal. You can also move certain steps up or down in the pipeline, or add and remove certain steps by using the add and remove buttons on the right side of the menu. For now, however, we will click the start button to begin pre-processing the individual subject that we have loaded. Before the pre-processing can start, however, you will be prompted to enter a few more options. For example, you need to specify the slice order, which should be on your scan log. If you're unable to locate it, ask your scan technician to find out what order was used. In this tutorial, we will use the interleaved Siemens ordering. You will also be asked to specify the threshold for how ART identifies an outlier. The intermediate settings, 97th percentile, should work fine for most cases, although you may want to set it to a higher or lower threshold depending on the population you are studying. Instead of basing the threshold on a normative sample, moreover, in other words, the settings that have already been selected, you can instead choose to edit the settings directly by selecting Edit Settings and manually selecting the Subject Motion Threshold. For our current tutorial, we will leave it at the intermediate settings. You will next be prompted to select the sampling resolution of the anatomical and functional output. The defaults of 1 mm cubed for the anatomical image and 2 mm cubed for the functional images should be fine. If you want to take up less space on your hard drive, you can lower the resolution, in other words, increase the numbers in the fields at the expense of lower spatial resolution. Finally, you will be asked to specify a smoothing kernel. As you will see later, the smoothed data by default is omitted from the actual functional connectivity analysis. It is included here in case you want to use it. Click OK and the preprocessing will begin, calling upon SPM tools as needed. For this subject, it will take about 5 minutes total. If everything has run without error, you should see a pop-up window saying that everything has finished without any problems. Now we will need to inspect the images for any artifacts or other problems, 
In other words, we will do quality assurance or QA checks. We'll learn more about those in the next video.